Hello YouTube, this is the Planet Rocks, and today we're going to be playing Civilization VI as the Ottoman Empire with Suleiman. Uh, obviously, I'm going to be trying to go for a military victory with this guy, and uh, his uh, features and abilities come with very military-centric ideas. So let's go ahead and see what Suleiman has to offer. So there's the Grand Vizier. Gives us a unique governor with military and diplomatic abilities. We gain the Janissary unit when gunpowder technology is researched. So, that, and you can see the Janissary unit is already listed like right here. Um, it sounds like an amazing unit. Uh, we'll be able to delve into more of like what, uh, what the benefits are of having a Janissary once we get to the gunpowder technology. The next one is the Great Turkish Bombard, and this is a siege-oriented um, benefit, plus 50 protection plus 50% protection towards siege units. All siege units gave gain, gain plus five combat strength against district defenses. Conquered cities do not lose population. That's always great. Cities not founded by the Ottomans gain plus one amenity and plus four loyalty per turn. So that's really great. You don't have to worry about a city that you've newly conquered falling away from you and becoming like a rogue city state. Uh, you basically don't have to worry about that, so it's a very conquering uh, oriented civilization. It makes it it makes it makes just ideal for a military victory, obviously. And then here are the unique ones. Uh, the Janissary Unique Land Unit, the Grand Bazaar, and the Barbary Corsair. So we got two unique military units and a unique uh, economic building, and uh, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So just so you know, I put this on shuffle and I made the map huge so there is uh there's quite a few civilizations out here and uh quite a number of city states and part of my strategy is to actually once we explore our surroundings is to go after the city states first that's why I, that way i haven't like pissed off any major civilizations yet i'll be able to like um, gain some territory with relative ease by taking on city-states as opposed to taking on an entire civilization first. That's going to come more uh, later in the Renaissance era. So here we are. We are at the uh, Kizil Irmak River. I probably butchered that name. Forgive me. But yeah, I think this is actually... This is a pretty good place to set up. We've got this mountain range right here to protect us from the north, and it looks like also from the east while we have a agri dagi we have this uh, volcano right here so i need to be aware of that anything that i build on these hexes i'm probably going to have to you know repair them uh, semi-frequently so yes i would love to build my city here okay and we got the first era score the citizens of istanbul adjust to their new home and keep a wary eye on the river nearby on the nearby river well i thought the way i said it was better all right, so now let's start exploring, seeing what's around. Oh, excellent. Got some luxury resources. That'll definitely help with productivity and keeping people happy. And we got, okay, so three. And I'm close to the coast, and we got a river right here. So, yeah, definitely want to place a city up there. Now let's pick some research. What do I want? What do I want? Hmm, Okay. Animal husbandry. Well, we'll discover horses by doing that. Mm, yeah, but there's nothing nearby. I don't think I need that. I mean, honestly, maybe mining would be better because I do have the quarries nearby. Oh, let me open the technology tree. Okay, so... Yeah, mining, and it leads to... To the encampment district yeah i'm gonna go with mining first and then possibly switch to pottery just in case food becomes a problem let me see nah, i think food is actually gonna be okay for a little while okay so let's see uh what do i want to do first i think the best thing to do let's go with a scout then a slinger and then another scout and then but yeah, let's just go ahead and get our military up and running very, very quickly. Six turns on that. All right, so I am going to take this warrior up north and see what's past the mountain range and see where this river leads. And then the scout, I'm going to follow down this main river. Ooh, man. 
there's a lot. We can turn that into a major mining center. I'm sensing this could be a major place to... Oh, we got a barbarian already. Okay, so there are barbarians nearby. Alright, so I might not be able to send my warrior too far up north before I have to deal with an onslaught of barbarians. Which is fine. I'll just have to deal with them. Alright. I need to find where that camp is, though. So, let's bring him down. But all of these hills, those are some major mining operations that I can get set up right in here. Um, build the city there, commercial district on that hex, and then a harbor there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and start with the pins. We have got, um, yeah, city center. I'm not going to name it. I don't need to do that. Got another tack. Let's see. Put that one right here. That is going to be a commercial hub. Let's do that. Add a tack. Got a, um, where's the harbor? There it is. Now, to be totally honest and fair, I don't think I'm going to continue or keep track of, like, putting tacks on, on the different parts of the map. I just don't think I'm going to be, I'm not going to be that focused, <laughs> more than likely. Okay, so I got the scout up and running. Let's see where this river leads. The Kizil Irmak River. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so we got some nice looking wheat and more luxury resources. That's always helpful. I can sell all of this stuff or trade it for other luxury resources that I don't have. And there's our first city state. Okay, it's relatively close by. And okay, so that's where the river ends. Boom, gonna put another city right there. Okay, so. I'm definitely going to want to take Laventa. I want to put a city here and a city there. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's do the add tack right there. Put the city center there. Okay. Um, shoot. Yeah, I'm just going to bite the bullet and get rid of those whales right there. Put a harbor and then put a commercial hub there work out that should work out well oh and we got us another river right in here uh i bet the barbarians are somewhere down there it looks like laventa yep there we go oh that's not great okay they've got a horseman hmm okay in eight turns i'll be able to put in some policies that can help me deal with the barbarians rat okay yeah that's not good okay i'm gonna bring my guy over to here as soon as i can yeah okay so they already had a horseman i was not expecting that Let's see what else is down here okay so the river ends here i don't know if i'm gonna put a city there it looks like it'd be a little trapped we'll see oh crap wow they're just pumping who up. deserves more credit than the wine um, let's go ahead and fortify. Let's see what's down here. Anything? Those are some good resources to have, to be honest. They really are. Alright, so I got that out of the way. Let's see. Do I want to aim for religion first, or go ahead and do this? Um, hmm. Defense. See, how am I doing on food? Doing fine on food. Let's go. I'm going with astrology first because I can make a military, uh, a militarized religion that can help with the Ottoman Empire. And uh, that would honestly be helpful to, to have a religion that kind of augments my military power. The Murat River. Okay, so I've got the slinger. I'm gonna bring him right here, trying to keep him away from that horseman. Okay, um, let's see. Yes. So it didn't kill him, but it did bring him down. 
Okay, let's see. Ah. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay, great. Excellent. So, we definitely are going to need to get rid of that. This, <laughs> this guy right there. Gonna be. Oh, really? I hate them. I hate these kind of barbarians. They're, they're super powerful. And they're just a nuisance. Damn it. They're already. Okay, so th these are definitely gonna be a problem. We're gonna have to get rid of them quick. Gonna produce that one last scout, and then I'm switching over to. This is not wisdom. Units almost exclusively. Okay, I just saw something that's a little bothersome. This volcano is now active. Uh oh. Well, it's not. It's honestly not that big of a deal. I am freaking out over nothing because I don't have anything built there. Um, I think honestly I have enough faith per turn. the scout up this way because he will just he'll just get killed if I send him to the south near that barbarian encampment. Alright, we got ourselves a flood. Didn't affect me at all though, so that's good news. city-state. Fez. Scientifically oriented, which is nice. Uh-oh. Here they come. Okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, so that's where this river ends. Right here at that mountain. Okay, good. I can promote him. <laughs> we got some barbarians up to the north as well. Okay, I am going to go ahead and get rid of the horsemen. And, um, hmm. Which one? Balfry. Okay, so this path is blocked off by that. Great, I'm gonna have to retreat. And I don't think I can go this way any further because of the mountain pass there. Wow, okay. A lot of mountains around. Okay, good, good. Got him. Okay, so which pantheon? Hmm. Yeah, no, no. I do like Divine Spark, I honestly do, but I want something that focuses more on the military. God of the Forge, yes. Yeah. Sure, I mean, it kind of becomes... I mean, I guess it becomes kind of useless after the classical era, but for right now, it will give me a definite edge in terms of military production, which is quite necessary right now. 
considering that I am surrounded. I have a barbarian encampment to the north and one to the south, and one that just developed to my east. Actually, okay, I'm gonna have to go deal with that one first. I better go deal with it. Get them on the hill. Gotta deal with that, they're close. They are continuing to come south, which is fine. Okay, let's... Maybe I can... Distract this scout so that they don't come near Istanbul. Okay, good. Next turn, actually, I am going to go ahead and eliminate them. Excellent. Got him. Deal with that slinger. A physician without a knowledge of been running. Okay, good. Got rid of that slinger. Now, time to... Let's go ahead and get you there. You as well. Down. Okay, and after this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a holy site somewhere. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there where there's the plus two. I could build Stonehenge, but... Nah, nah, not going to build Stonehenge. Not right now. Don't think I'm going to do that, actually. Okay, oh, look, it looks like Fez went ahead and destroyed the, uh, the barbarians to the north. Meaning all I have to deal with now are the barbarians to the south. Super helpful. Uh, moving on hills. Let's do that. Alright, now I can finally break out of this mountain range and see what the hell is going on up north.
here we go. Getting closer to the encampment. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, I think I can go ahead and take care of him with just the warrior. Uh, I'm gonna heal this guy up first. Alrighty. fairly large army. I think the first ones I'm going to take down is Leventa, and then I will obviously focus on Fez. Got him. Now, get to end these guys. Settler. Mm. No, probably another warrior. I need to get some siege equipment up and running now. Where can I get that? Ah, all the way over here, which will take building ancient walls. So let's go ahead and see if we can do that. I wonder if I can go ahead and take down Leventa with the troops that I have. I'm not saying it would be easy, but maybe doable? Okay, let's see what else is around here. does that, but it does. Alright, so they've got a population of two. Okay, Going across these rivers will mean that I take some damage. Wow, they actually have a, a highly defensible position. Having to attack across these rivers means I'll have to take more damage, but that might I might be able to mitigate that if I go ahead and put my slingers there. Yeah, I could do that. Whereas, oh, oh damn. They have a mountain right here. They have a mountain right here, which means I can't put my warrior there. Which means I can't put my warrior there. Okay, yeah, let's go this way. Mm -mm. Okay, so we got a desert right up here. And barbarians.
Got a builder, which is great. Alrighty, let's, uh, oh good, good, it's under siege, which means they will not be able to heal. That's good news. It's always great news. Alright, I'm just gonna keep sending this guy around, see if I can get past, no, it looks like this mountain range cuts off this side of the map. So, if that's the case, that means up here is the only way for anybody to get through to Istanbul. I mean, before the sea starts being used. We've got a mega colossal eruption. Pretty cool. Got it. The graphics are just gorgeous in this game. Skill without imagination. So, I'm kind of hoping that is the case. What I meant is that I really hope this mountain range actually does protect Istanbul from all attacks and they can be funneled in through here. Like, I, all I would have to do is set up a defensive perimeter, like, right there. So these mountains are going to keep me from going that way, and that is, yeah, there's no way I can get over there until I research something that allows me to embark right there, which is fine. So yeah, I actually have a really defensible position right here. This mountain range protects me from pretty much all attacks. Bronze is the mirror. Which is great. See if I can finish this off. I was really wanting to make this video between 30 and 40 minutes, not much longer than that. And I think I might be able to pull it off, even with taking over Leventa. One second, let me check the great persons. I'm pretty sure I can get to the... I'm pretty sure I can get a great profit before all the religions are taken. Let's see, how many religions are allowed? Okay, it's not telling me just yet. Okay, I think my scout is going to pass away, like, right now. Oh, well. Oh. So they've got an archer. Oh. Okay, let's see if this works. It did! Ah, <sighs> got him. Yes, we are definitely gonna keep this city. Excellent. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and repair the monument. Go ahead and get that done. All right, and now we get to focus on Fez. Builder here, I am gonna do a quarter. the encampment on these two things because it's production. So I'm going to go ahead, take that, and put the encampment there. build a holy site or a builder to like because I don't want the population to remain stagnant so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get a builder all right um, I think with the conquering of Laventa I'm going to call it a day on this video for right now uh, I believe I'm over 30 minutes and I don't want to go uh, over 40. I definitely don't want to do that. So yeah, I think I'm going to call it a day right here. Um, thank you all for joining me. This has been really a lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell. Also, please do like my video. Tell your friends and your family. I am the Planet Rocks, and join me next week for the second playthrough of Civilization 6. Thank you.